Hello there guys and gals, this is F1 Backwards here, back with another after party achievement guide and this one I will be showing you how to get all three endings in one playthrough. Now, normally when you get to the end of after party you'll have to uh, beat Satan in a drinking game and when you do that, there's usually no way you can go back uh, to outside Satan's and, and do it all again. So what you'd have to do is play through the game three times to get three endings. But, this is a decent little trick that can save you roughly around an extra 15 hours of gameplay. Like I said, this game honestly has been absolutely fantastic, but to play any game through three times just for an ending achievement, eh, you know, can be a bit, uh, can get a bit annoying after the third run through, <laughs> can't it, no matter how good a game is. So anyway, here we are then. We have now made it outside Satan's. This is the end of the game. You'll know when you're at the end of the game because normally this line here would be full of people. And you'll again, you'll know at the end of the game, obviously, it's, it's pretty obvious um, with the dialogue with Sam and you just know. But in case you don't, you'll notice the party's kind of dead. That's when you know that we are coming up to the end of the game. Now, you think normally you just go in and crack on with it. Brilliant. But no, what you have to do is... It's already been auto-saved. I mean, I mean, this is the... So we'll just wait for the old... Ye old dialogue to... Act up a minute. Uh, let's just get on with it. I have met every dumbass I want to tonight. Let's just go. Makes, uh, makes sense. Okay, there it is then. That is what we're looking for. Auto-saved. It's all done. So that effectively banks our save now with what we're about to do. Um, this, again, there's just a little trick. So if we... Uh, manually uh, quit out of the game and then we can reload back in so like I was saying now that has banked our save so the way we are going to do this is as soon as the achievement unlocks straight away go to your Xbox dashboard without quitting the game and again it'll all make sense in just a little bit so go ahead reload back in and this is where you will end up then just outside Satan so now we can go in and be aware that there is about oh, 10 to 15 minutes worth of dialogue and you'll have to play a game of beer pong first but the game of beer pong will not matter either so you can win or lose that no problem it's just the three achievements we need for losing to satan failing to start the drinking game against satan and actually beating satan so that's in the sort of second phase if you'd like well no, i know we like to say they're like ants or uh, voles but they get from someone who saw them come out of well, the queue. There he is. People Let's go get it. just pluck parents. But Dick... And it's hard. This is hard, standing here. Um, harder than I thought it Okay, so a lot of dialogue. Uh, Basically, this is an intervention for Satan because he's a goddamn alcoholic, which doesn't surprise me. Go into the beer pong phase then. Again, win or lose does not matter at this point. It is now this point where he says, right, screw you guys, we are out of here. What? I don't think I want to look at you anymore. Luke. And there's another little bit of dialogue until you get the option to sit. So when you do, the first achievement we're going for there is for not starting the game. So you'll have two dialogue options, one to start the game and another just whatever. Always choose the whatever for this particular achievement. And again, don't worry, Satan will actually start the game anyway. Um, but you just keep on clicking the other optional bit of dialogue. And eventually again, this this phase is gonna take five to 10 minutes as well. You know, the dialogue, op uh, the dialogue does get a bit draggy out sometimes. The game's fantastic, but it does get a bit draggy out. So that's it. Again, like I said earlier, once the achievement unlocks, the second you hear it unlock, go straight to your dashboard. I think if you do it quite slowly, you might miss the opportunity, so, you know, like I said, the best thing to do, dashboard straight away, without quitting the game. So now, what we need to do is go into My Games and Apps. And eventually, I'm quite slow at doing this for some reason. Highlight After Party, and then go down to Manage Games and Add-ons. Now again, what you'll think you'll need to do 
is go down to save data and delete from everywhere, but that is not the case. There's a specific way to do it. So don't click on the game right here. Click on your gamer tag, whatever that may be. I am the Lord of the Dance, said he. Sorry, sorry, no, just. Anyway, click on that and then delete from console. Do not delete everywhere, just delete from console. Very important, that one. If you delete everywhere, you're gonna have to go through the whole game again without getting any of the ending achievements. And boy, wouldn't that piss you off. So once that's done, now we can reload back into it and we should now end up back outside Satan's. Don't worry about that bit if it says sinking data. Again, that's just normal. So go ahead, load up your save again. And we will, and this is what it should look like. You should end up back outside of Satan's, and you can go through the whole dialogue and the whole beer pong and get to the second phase once again. Of course, I know it's annoying. It, it taking 10, 15 minutes to get there, but it's a lot better than playing it again for another four to five hours, isn't it? So straight back in the second phase, and I've just skipped all that dialogue option and things like that. So this time, then we'll start the game after all that bit of dialogue to start the game. This time, though, we are intentionally losing to Satan. So, literally, it, it actually doesn't matter. You can smash all the glasses you want. Who gives a crap? And, yeah, Satan will eventually win. And basically, what he'll do is... I mean, fair play, Satan's a pretty decent guy. He'll give you another go. All this talk about Satan, you know, torturing in... Tor torturing in? Torturing in you... Torturing you, can't even say the freaking word, and all that, it's just all myth. Night School Studios and After Party have debunked the myth. Satan's a hell of a guy. He's an alcoholic, but he's a hell of a guy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, once he wins, basically he'll give you another opportunity to go again. And you'll have to play it as Lola, but then after that you can just say, now nah, we'll take the loss and the achievement will unlock. Of course, at that point you'll need to dashboard straight out when the achievement unlocks. And apologies if I'm waffling on a bit. You two were, uh, I mean, you, you did the whole monarch thing, got the invite to come all this way, and, and not get it done is... It's annoying, to say the least. I'm... I'm annoyed. Lucifer, come on. Y you only drank Milo under the table. Let's let me have a try. Ignore how big he is and drink. Come on, let's go. Don't fall too far behind. Oh, come on. No, I don't think this dialogue option matters. Just choose the we are lost on purpose um, option anyway, just to be on the safe side. I don't think it makes too much of a difference because, again, Satan will say, look, I'm a stand-up guy. Have another go if you want. But again, the next time the dialogue options come up, you will say, take the loss. And again, the second you hear that achievement unlock, dashboard, go straight to your Xbox dashboard without quitting the game. And then that will be two out of three endings already done. you try again, okay? Another shot. I can. I can do this all night. Uh, well, we'll take the loss. Yeah, I don't And then just go ahead and do the same thing you did last time. So straight into my games and apps. Go ahead, see all, go into after party. Press start, down to manage games and add-ons. Go down to save data. Go down to your gamer tag again, and then delete from console. Again, very important, do not delete from everywhere. Delete from console and then reload the game back in, and once again, we will out end up outside of Satan's. And that's it, and that should be it. Now, all we've got to do is win against him. I think it might be quite difficult, because I think you've got to stack up the 10 glasses against him. But, after the first couple of tries, he gives you, it gets easier, and I'm positive that he basically gives you unlimited tries. I managed to do it on my fifth attempt, so... Yeah, I don't think it's actually, it's not too bad once you sort of get into a rhythm and you sort of don't panic and pressure yourself. It's actually not too bad. As long as you keep saying, there's two dialogue options that comes up. Sure, try again, and we'll take the lost thanks. Obviously, always go with sure, try again. 
gonna... I'm gonna do you a solid and let you try again, okay? Another shot. I can. I can do this all night. Yeah, well, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, why reload the save, right? And Satan will basically say that every single time you lose, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. You will win eventually. Keep going, don't give up. Come on, let's go. Don't fall too far behind. He's it. He's fading. A little. Come on, Lola, you got this. Shot, but you really you you pulled through. I'm proud of you, kids. You get to go home. And there we have it then. That is how you get all of the three endings in one playthrough without you having to go again because that is just a pain in the ass. So <laughs> I do love that bit. Satan's so happy that he just passes out, and then my little Lola can go home. So, I mean, if you want to see the other two full-on endings after the first two, they're on YouTube somewhere. I have seen them. Um, but this is literally just the best best way, the best trick I could find to save you guys and gals about 10 to 15 hours of extra gameplay. So, thank you very much for watching, guys and gals. Hope this helps. Um, because it definitely helped me out when I <laughs> didn't want to play through it three times. If you... If it did help and you did enjoy, please like, comment and subscribe because I'll be doing all types of videos, all types of fun videos. Thanks for watching anyway and I shall see you in the next one. It's a start. Yeah.